Hey and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be setting up the race position and hopefully if there's enough time we're also going to set up the race reward. So with that let's get started. So before we get started um, in the last video where I showed how to spawn the AI I only showed how to spawn one AI by making an array. So in this little side note I'm going to show how to spawn different vehicles. So to do that you go to the BP tracker where the function spawn AI is and you're pretty much going to do the same thing but an important thing to note is that any car that you want to spawn for the AI has to be a child of the main car so much like what we did in the tutorial series where the AI is a child of the sports car that will have to be the same thing for every car that you want to spawn so the code for that will pretty much be similar so you're going to take your race positions and then you're going to drag off and then look for get world transform and then on the return value you're going to right click split strut pin and then you're going to add the spawn ai for class and then you're going to take the location add that to the location and then depending on the orientation of your level you might also want to add the rotation to here but in my case um, the race the start of the racetrack is in the x positive if yours is not then you might want to add the return value rotation to the rotation as well by the spawn ai and then from here we're going to go to the spawn class select the sports car child by the return value drag off and then cost to the sports car and then drag in the cars Hold control, drag it in, drag off, select add, connect the execution pin and the blue pin, and then connect the execution pin after the after we add the player into the array as well. So that part will be will stay the same. And then that will spawn you one vehicle. And if you want to spawn another one, then you'll just take your second position and then the same with the world get world transform you can pretty much just copy that and then copy the code as well and then just add that and then with that we are done gonna compile save so if you play through the level you'll notice that there are still three cards added to the array but if say for example the one one of the cars is not a child of the vehicle that is being referenced for the array so if the spawn class is say for example the off-road vehicle right if we compile and save as you can see the code pretty much says it works because logically this does make sense but it doesn't work as you see it only says you have two vehicles in the array now because the off-road car is not a child of the sports car so it doesn't recognize it and then the other thing is if the non-child car comes before the child car then it will pretty much just tell you that you have one car in the array and the rest of the code after that will not will pretty much not work so you want to make sure that all the cars that you spawn in as ai are children of the reference car for the array and with that just gonna remove that set that back so that's how you would go about spawning different cars in your race so on to today's video so in today's video we're gonna do the race positions so we're gonna head over to the functions and create a new function and this function we're gonna say get positions so here we're gonna get the position of every car in the array so from the function we're gonna drag in cars, hold control, drag in cars. From the cars, drag off and then say for each loop. And then we're also gonna drag in the spline, hold control, drag in the spline. Connect the execution pin for the for each loop. From the spline line, drag off and look for get location at spline point. The coordinate space will be world. And then from the target spline, drag off and look for get spline 
the length from the forge loop by the array element, drive off and look for get at uh, location, and then from the get location at spline point, drag off and look for minus, connect the get at the location to the bottom pin at the minus, and then from the minus, drag off and look for vector length, and then from the vector length, drag off and look for an add, connect the get spline length to the top pin and the vector length to the bottom pin and then again from the forge loop array element drag off and then look for set last distance connect the execution pin by the loop body and then you're going to add a redirect node by the set last distance drag off from that and then look for set race length connect the execution pin and then the vector length will become the last distance and then the vector length plus the get spline length will become the race length and then that is pretty much the code compile save the method for this video comes from the youtuber seradius i hope i said that correctly um, you will find a link to his YouTube channel down in the description and then we're going to create a, another function. So add a function and then this function will be called calculate positions. Uh, side note for moving on, if you haven't watched the previous video on how to spawn in the AI, I would recommend you go watch that because there were some things that I did in that video that pertain to this video. It's one long working system so if you don't if you haven't watched that video then you won't be able to get the results from this video from the calculate positions drag off and then say oh sorry um, dragging the cars variable for control from cars drag off and say for each loop and then drag in the spline as well hold control drag it in connect the execution pin for the for each loop from the spline drag off and look for get location at line point the coordinate space being world and then from the for each loop array element drag off and look for get position get position the under variables get position and then connect that to the point index and then from there we're going to drag off from the array element again and then look for get Actual location from the get location as plane point, drag off and look for a subtract, connect the get x location to the bottom pin at the subtract, and then connect a redirect node to the get x location, drag off from the redirect node and look for set position, the set position variable, and then from the array index, connect that to the set position, and then connect the execution pin to the loop body. From the subtract, drag off and look for vector length. And then from the array element, we're gonna drag off and look for get race length. And then again, from the array element, we're gonna drag off and say get last distance. So from the race length, drag off and then look for a subtract. And then as well from the last distance, look for a subtract and then connect the the subtract from the last distance to the bottom pin of the subtract for the race length and then connect the vector length by the subtract to the subtract by the last distance and then we're going to add a redirect node just before the set position from that redirect node drag off and look for set race length connect the execution pin and then connect the subtract by the race length to the set race length. Then we're gonna add another redirect node just before the set race length, drag off and then look for set last distance, connect the execution pin. And then from the vector length, drag off, add a redirect node and then connect that to the set last distance. We're gonna add another redirect node just before the last distance on the blue noodle. Drag off from there and then get distance point. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake at the beginning by the get location as plane point. It shouldn't be the target position. It should be get distance point. That was, that was my mistake. Um, I apologize for that. And then from the get distance point, that's close to the set last distance 
drag off and look for an add and then we're gonna add one and then from the and then from the blue redirect node we're gonna drag off and then say set distance point and then we're gonna connect the add to the set distance point connect the execution pen and then we're gonna add a redirect node on the blue noodle drag off from there and then say set last distance connect the execution pen and then from the green noodle redirect node connect that to the set last distance so we're just gonna tidy this up a bit it does look a bit of a mess but we'll do that afterwards for now we need to get through the code so after we're done with all that we're going to go to the cars variable the array drag off from that and then we're going to look for sort the sort object array copy one thing to note is that you are going to need the low entry extended standard library for this um, method to work if you don't have it then it will not work so i will leave a link to it down in the description once you have it install it and then proceed with the video so from the sort we are then going to drag off from the comparator and then we're going to say create event and then we say select function we say create a matching function and then in here you can pretty much uh, rename the function it's over here it's bp tracker auto gen function i'm gonna press f2 on that i'm gonna rename it to sort cars and then on the object a pin we're gonna drag off and then cost to sport car horn i'm gonna connect the execution pins we're gonna control c control v the cost to sports car pawn connect the execution pins and then from object b we're gonna connect it to the car the second cost to and then by the s sports car pawn pin for the object a cost to drag off and then look for get race length we're going to control c control v and then from the second cost to connect that to the second get race length and then from the first race length we're going to drag off and say lesser than connect the second race length to that and then from the red pin connect that to the result so that's how this looks so this will help sort out the cars in the array based on their race length on this line compile and save head back to the calculate positions the function has been added so now from here we're gonna drag off from the return value on the sort and then say for each loop let's just drag this up a bit from the array element we're gonna drag off and say cost to cost to sports car sports car porn connect the loop body pin and then the execution pin for the for each loop will be connected to the completed pin for the first for each loop and then from the array index drag off look for an add we're gonna add one and then from the cost to sports car pawn and sports car pawn pin drag off and say set position the variable at the bottom connect the execution pin and then connect the add to the set position and that will pretty much be that compile save head over to the event graph after the spawn ai drag in the calculate positions and then drag in the get positions so the order is spawn ai then we get the positions and then from the get position we connect and then we say calculate the position now i'm going to compile save head over to the level save all and then we want to play see if this works go back to the bp tracker and then we're going to make a couple of changes so first change we're going to make is we're going to change the get access of our class class with the bp ai spline is we're going to change this over to the progress spline also if you haven't put the progress spline back into the level yet because we have removed it for the ai system please do so and then we're going to remove the get drag off from the out access hit get and we're going to delete the set spline as well and then in the variables by the spline we're also going to change the variable type to the bp progress plan going to make it an object reference and let's say change variable type and then we're going to hold alt drag in the spline connect the get connect 
the reset plane to the apply settings and connect the execution pin to the get all access across um, that will be that if you compile then you're gonna get a couple errors so we need to go sort those out uh, I think okay in the get positions delete the get spline the target spline and then just from the spline drag off and connect it to the get location spline location and then drag off from the target spline again and connect it to the get spline length and then also by the calculate positions we need to delete the target spline and then connect the spline again to the get location at spline point and then that will be it we're gonna compile head back to the event graph and then by the calculate positions drag off on the execution pin look for delay and then by the delay switch set the time to something like 0 0.01 on the complete connect that again to the calculate position so it creates a loop then compile save and then if we go and play in the level now it should work okay so now i'm third instead of first and then after the first corner just take that and then i'm second and first there is a little bit of a delay when it comes to calculating the um race positions but ultimately it will be correct after some time it's not um like instantaneous as soon as you overtake but the code does work so now with that we're gonna go back to the bp tracker and then we are going to add the race rewards now so for the race rewards we're going to create a function i'm gonna call this race rewards and then the race rewards we're going to drag in the sports car hold control drag in the sports car drag off and then say get position get position variable and then from the get position drag off and then we're going to look for an equal the operator is equal and then if it equals third then we're going to add a branch node hold b left click connect the condition connect the execution pin and then we're pretty much just going to copy the code from here C, control B, connect the false, and then once again, just control C, control V, connect the false, change the equals to two, and then change the last one to one. And then from here, we're gonna drag in the sports car, then we're gonna drag off in the sports car and say get money. And then from the get money, we're gonna drag off and then look for an add. And then if you come in third, we're gonna give you 900. And then we're gonna drag off from the sports car again. And then look for set money. And then from the add, connect that to the set money. By the branch true, connect that to the set money. And then pretty much just copy the code, control C, control V connect it to true at the second branch node and then this one we're gonna set it to 1400 and then the last one we're gonna set it to 2100 so then from here we're gonna drag off from the bottom set and then look for create save game object the save game object being the bp save game and then we're gonna connect the other two set money to the create save game object. From the create save game object, return value, drag off, and then say set save game. Oh, we we're supposed to create the variable for that. Um, in the variables, just create a new variable called save game. And then the variable type, make an object reference to BP save game and then drag it in with alt and then connect the return value and the execution pin drag in the sports car and from the sports car drag off and then get money from the set save game 
drag off and then say set money connect the execution pin connect the get money to the set money and then we're going to drag off from the set and then say save game to slot then we're going to drag in the save game variable hold control drop it over the save game object pin and then in the slot name it is the money save and then that will be that one in compile save add back to the pen graph and then at the checkpoint cleared after the as player controller race complete true drag off the restart or the move to garage depending on how you set up the custom event and then we're gonna add the race rewards over here to the true so that it only gets calculated once the race is complete and then we're gonna compile save quickly head over to the garage level just to see how much money the player has at the moment to compare maps garage and then if we save all hit play the player currently has no money so if we go and complete the race oh well the ai have gone up but hey why are I'm guessing I didn't drag my AI spline all the way across the racetrack or I didn't set up the overlapping box, the overlapping box for the brakes on every corner on the racetrack. So the race rewards works. I have been rewarded with 2100. So with that, that brings us to the end of this video and uh, until the next one.